Emefule is gone. Bawa is gone. So more heads will roll. Those who are standing as an impediment to the good and progress of this country, the president will not dally dally with them. He will not do CCCC with them. He's going to boot and kick them out. And when he does that, we will have the unfettered power, encouragement to get ready for oil theft, which all my brothers in the Niger Delta, all of us have agreed. I don't have my personal army. Nigeria has been engaging mercenaries, foreign mercenaries from other countries, from Belarus, from South Africa, to fight insurgency. Maybe you are not aware. So why will Nigeria not engage the same, in the same token, locals who have the same way we have and are more effective and are more conversant with the environment. We are not the only one. Hunters Association, different people are engaged. Civilian JTF are engaged to confront this evil that has enveloped this country. I don't have a private army. I am assisting the government as a citizen, as a good citizen of this country to save the lives. Since the, the time we, were, we went there, Kaduna Road had been free. No more kidnapping. We are saving lives. I don't have a private army. And the Constitution does not provide for a private army. What I know that, like I told you, the president is a very firm personality. And when he takes a decision, when he came out and they were saying all sorts of things, no person had been so maligned, abused, make fun of like this president. Those of us who believe that it was the president's turn, we stood when he said Emilokon. It was strange. Even all the booing, the backstabbing. If there are Judases in the world, Jesus Christ had one Judas. His own Judas were in their legions. He survived it. So I'm not going to discuss or disclose what the president told me. Two, my dear sister, the people doing the bunkering had been there. A lot of people had come out to say it before this time. The people doing the bunkering are not our people because they cannot bring those big supercargo uh, ships, vessels that are, are almost the size of this villa. They don't have the resources. There are powerful cabals, most time operating from Abuja. Who know? And you saw it on television, where pipes are linked, not even pipes are linked to export terminals and diverted. How will that be possible that an ordinary person will go and do that? There are powerful forces in place, far more stronger. Who think they are far more stronger? But they've made their match. And their match is President Ahmad Bola Tinibu. He is going to bring all of them. He's going to expose all of them. And many people will be marching to Kujeb and Krikri prison. <laughs> the president is a strong president. He's a commander in chief of the armed forces. He's going to take decisive action to get these rotten eggs. It's not the old army and the navy. There are a few who have this entitlement mentality. I better pass on I get power pass on I get people where they up, where go to cover me. The president is going to remove them and make it possible for the people of this country to benefit. For instance, uh, Emefule is gone. Bawa is gone. So more heads will roll. Those who are standing as an impediment to the good and progress of this country, the president will not dally dally with them. He will not do CCCC with them. He's going to boot and kick them out. And when he does that, we will have the unfettered 
power, encouragement to get ready for oil theft, which all my brothers in the Niger Delta, all of us have agreed. Myself and Tom Polo are not in the same field. He is guiding pipelines. I am not guiding pipelines. And Tom Polo or myself, even if I'm giving, will not succeed if the president, the commander in chief of the armed forces, is not ready to stamp it, put his feet down, and say this should not continue. Because I will also be, I am speaking now because I know that the president will protect me because I'm saying the truth. Under another president, they might not give you the protection. So they might not give Tompolo the protection. You saw on television where Tompolo himself was accusing the military. I saw it on channel. I saw it on her eyes. Tompolo himself was accusing the military. It is so for us, I know this president. And I know this president is a sickler for the rule of law. He's going to make sure we need all the money. Have you been to United Arab Emirates? Have you been to Qatar? Go there and see what they have used their oil to do. Why can't we use our oil to do something? Where is our, the oil money going? It's not me. Oh. Me, I talk, they say I talk very raw. I speak very raw. Me, I'm okay. I have four wives. <laughs> I have 22 children, and I have several SUVs. It's only jet I've not bought. <laughs> so it's not me. No, I'm being frank with you. But when you know what is going on, the deprivation, when somebody calls you on the phone and say, my brother, I have not eaten since yesterday. The person went to school. The person has skills. But the system will not allow the person to excel. Why must we all become criminals to survive? Why must we all become beggars to survive? Why will opportunities not be given to us? to raise our shoulders high, and to be good men and women, and to be good citizens. This is what it is. This is what Ahmed Bola Tinibu will bring about, and I believe it, and I know that he will succeed. I'm praying for him, and I'm also going to stand physically by him. Thank you very much.